Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to do a quick um, video on a, on a video camera lens replacement. Um, I get a lot of them. Uh, look, that's a good picture. You can see I cleaned it now. It's got a, I get a lot of them with this problem. They've got a reflective, anti-reflective uh, coating on the lens. And um, people wipe them off with uh, alcohol which you shouldn't do because they remove that coating and uh, this wasn't uh, that bad it was just a patch in the middle that was affecting the picture but when I tried to clean it to see what's under there it was because uh, the customer complained there was condensation on the inside but it wasn't it was on the outside of the lens so let me show you closer if I can uh, there won't be any there you go see the um, the blue stuff well kind of blue dark blue yeah if you if you rub that off or wipe it off uh, that um, coating it will look uh, it will look like it's condensation inside or some kind of stains on the lens this is the the good one if you can see the uh, purplish reflection that's the that's the coating that's supposed to be on there anyway you get the idea um, if you've got one of this and the lens is gone you can either try to clean it all uh, all off with alcohol like what I tried here but uh, then you'll have one lens that's gonna be coated and one not so that will probably affect your image uh, quality so anyway let's try to quickly replace this and see how we're doing okay usually I've got a spare one here I'm gonna take it off this I already took one out I'm gonna take it off here and I'm gonna be um, let's show this is a good one might be yeah there you go um normally i'll take it using uh, alcohol i'll take it off using alcohol but this time i'm gonna try to use uh heat i'm gonna warm it up and um and uh try to see if i can get it nicely with um with the adhesive in one uh, place i'm gonna use my heat gun i'm gonna um, Uh, set it to a hundred degrees Okay, so if you don't have one of these uh, hot air guns and If you try to do it, I don't know use something but don't put too much heat because this plastic around will melt and um, Also, I'm trying not to affect the camera underneath This is my spare one so one of my spares, so I'm going to try to to do it on this first and see how it works. If not, I've got different spares that I can take a uh, lens off. But I just want to make sure we we'll get it with a with a glue. So it's got um, double-sided adhesive uh, ring around. That is hard to to stick back if you if you don't get it all in one go. Okay, it's starting to warm up. I'm going slowly because I don't want to. As I said, I don't want to put too much heat in. You know. The cameras should be okay because they're on um, they're on a heat sink, as you can see. So all the sensor and all the electronics are here. It's just a lens underneath, and it's not going to be affected because the temperature uh, is not going to get down there. We're just hitting the outer. Um, the outer gloss, outer lens. Mm. 
It's actually so good at transferring the temperature that I'm not able to heat it up. I'm gonna go to 120. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Let's try. I use one of these little uh, suckers and let's see if it's coming off. Ah, there you go. Well, obviously, I ripped the whole thing. The adhesive. So, let's see if we can recover it. Let's switch to the microscope. Yeah, maybe I rushed it a bit. Okay. It's kind of a deer to itself. Oh, well, I don't think we can recover that one. Okay, we're gonna keep that and we're gonna use the um, gonna use the adhesive that we use for phone screens. But anyway, let's check this lens, clean it up, make sure it's in uh, good shape before we fit it on the new thing. Let's clean the inside. Okay, as you can see, it's good now. Marks, no scratches, no, nothing on it. Don't know if that comes okay on the on the microscope camera. But yeah, so good. Let's put it safe somewhere, and let's get the one. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing on the. On the actual camera one so I'm gonna take that one off and uh, I'm gonna save you watching me heat it up so I'll pause the recording and then uh, we'll get back to when we glue the new one in okay we removed that one now what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure the lens is clean This is a special lens uh, lens pen that I use. It's got like a nice felt uh, tip, specially. I don't know if you can see it for cleaning lens. So uh, just make sure we don't touch it with anything we don't want to. This one's okay. Okay, we've got a nice clean surface all around. You can see. It's just the light shining off it, of the edges. It's nothing there. There's the lens we removed. Right, focus. I don't know if you can see any the. You can see it. I don't know if the camera picks it up. I can see the. Yeah, there you go. See all the. That. Um coating has been damaged <laughs> all right let's um let's get the replacement one and uh, i'm gonna put i've got some black glue around here okay 
there you go I'm gonna put some of these glue is a T7000 anybody's wondering I'm gonna put some of this all around okay that's exactly what I didn't want to do lift it up try to not to lift it up when you do this luckily it didn't even go anywhere I didn't want it but you don't want to to get it on the on the actual camera lens because that will be a pain to clean There you go. Well, this is a good lens. Let's look at the. Um, writing, try to match it. Not that it makes any difference. Before we glue it on, we're going to give it one final clean. Yeah, on the inside. Yeah, we can clean the outside after. And let's try to match it with the writing. There you go. I'm going to let that dry before I clean it properly. Yeah, there's fingerprints and stuff on it, but uh, there you go. Replacement uh, lens fitted. That's going to be a nice new. Um, that's going to be a nice quality image for the customer again. Okay, I'm going to let it dry, and uh, we'll see when all this uh, is cleaned up how it looks. Let me pause the video. Actually. Yeah, I'm not going to pause the video. That's going to be the end of the video. You get the idea. It's going to be all nicely cleaned up. Another happy customer. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.